Well, if you can believe there is a leopard there, it just shows you how difficult it is to find her. I was almost giving up hope and we were coming back on the same track as where we went in and those little ears poked out of the long grass and there she is, the beautiful Incanyeni. And it is her indeed, it's not Kuchava, so it's definitely Incanyeni. And it looks like she's sort of slowly moving around hunting. She seems to be kind of listening very intently. Her ears are moving quite a bit and she's keeping a low profile. She's sort of leopard crawling her way through this grassy thicket. But you can see when they get into this thick grass how difficult it can be to see them. It's almost impossible. That spotted pattern just blends in so, so well. There you go. You can see if she puts her head down now, you won't know that she's even there. The fact of the matter is we only saw her because she decided to move. There we go. Amazing camouflage. And look at how she's sort of looking around. So there is another vehicle that's going to join us now. And I'm hoping that's not going to cause her to slink off because it's going to be so tough to follow her through here. And I'm hoping that she goes back to the road. The road is about, I would say, 10 meters from where we are now. And so hopefully she's going to pop back onto the road and head back towards three in a row pan. It's so good to see her again. I'm hoping she's going to be a little bit fuller than when James saw her the other day. I know James saw her this week at some point, and she was looking a bit skinny, is what they told me. So I'm hoping that she's going to be um, have gotten a meal in that time. Sorry, I'm just trying to tell the guys which side of me she is. So that they can find her and get into the sighting easily. But it, is, it amazes me how that they are able to blend in like this. It really is phenomenal. And you can imagine how effective a hunter she must be in grass like this. Any impala that moves in this area is going to have a really tough time of it because she's going to be able to strike in grass like this without them even knowing. There we go. It's disappearing as we speak. But it looks like she might be going back towards the road, which will only be good for us. If she decides to go back to the road, then we at least we'll be able to see her a lot better than what we see now because that there is camouflage at its very 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 best but i'm glad we found her at least i thought there was going to be no chance given the fact that it is as thick as it is now i just wanted to see if she turned around but it looks like she's going back towards the road so i'm going to go back that way i think and try and see if we can't get a clearer view from the road itself Let's have a look here. Careful there, Craig. I'm trying to not slap Craig about with trees. So hopefully we can get out here somewhere and actually be able to see her. It would be quite nice if we could. It seems like she is moving again, so I'm gonna try and just catch up on that side. Whew, it's thick in there. <laughs> feels like the leopards are dragging us through hell at the moment. We had Tingana the other night and that was quite something to follow him through that thicket. So hopefully now we'll be able to get our way through this a little bit easier. So Riti, you want to know at what age can an leopard independently start hunting? Well, it's a very variable number, Riti, because it depends on the individual. Some leopards are incredibly good hunters, others not so much. But in sort of my experience, the, the youngest I've seen a leopard independently hunt has been 10 months old. So that's very, very young. And the oldest that I've seen from a sort of cub learning how to hunt was about was actually he was almost two and a half by the time he kind of learned how to hunt so he was not very good and he stayed with mom for a very long time now, where is she gone this is not easy to follow her through this she tends to just disappear so quickly um, i think we're gonna have to end up heading back the kind of way we came now hopefully we can find her again but here's my track that I was on just now, so that's good news because that will make life a lot easier. There is a massive termite mound not too far from here, so I'm hoping she's going to go up towards that termite mound. And that will be much easier for us to then view her once she gets up there. It will also be much quieter for her as well. She seems to be a leopard that doesn't really like the noise that much. I kind of watch her, she sort of slinks through the grass when there's a lot of vehicles 
well, the three vehicles that are around. She then kind of moves quite a bit. Now, I don't know where she's gone from here. Can you see her, Craig? Oh, there she is. She's just there on our left-hand side. Looks like she's coming straight this way. There she goes. Hello, beautiful girl. Look how she sniffs every now and then, and they'll often do that when walking through areas like this. So, Jenny, you're wondering if Inkanyani means anything. Well, Inkanyi is a marula tree, and so it's because she used to love lying in marula trees when she was a younger cub, and that's where she got the name. And so it's basically her name is after a tree itself. Now, Seems like she's gonna go straight towards that termite mound I was talking about just now. So I'm gonna try and just get into that area. The way I came through from the termite mound is not a very good way, so I'm hoping the way that I'm going to go now is slightly better. It's one advantage of having these vehicles, these shorter wheelbase vehicles really are much better at getting through this stuff than the longer wheelbase vehicles. But there's the termite mound I was talking about just on my left hand side now. So hopefully she is gonna head that way. Oh, this grass is so long. I've got to be just so careful when driving through grass like this because there can be a stump at any stage which can go up and hit your vehicle and hit into the sort of underside and cause quite a bit of damage. So that's so why I'm just trying to take it as slow as possible. Can you see her, Craig? She went through in front of us. Okay. Uh, there she is. Where have you gone now? She's just in front of us, but it amazes me her camouflage. There she goes. I can just see her slinking away through the bush there. It's almost impossible to see these spots as they go. Now, hopefully she's going to go the way that she's going now because it's heading towards a road where we'll be able to then see her a little bit better. Sorry, Rusty. I apologize. I know. This is not ideal treatment of you I'm sorry all right let's see okay girl I know where you're going is going to be quite nice so let's just try and see if we can't get around there we go where are you off to now stop here Craig because that should be at least some sort of a visual because it seems like we're just chasing grass and trees but there she is there you can just see that telltale white tail and the basically white ears and that's when you're looking for leopards those are two sort of parts of them that you should always look for when you see that white sticking out it's often a telltale sign that they're around are you gonna go into that tree please go into that tree that would be very kind of you there's a very tall torchwood that she was looking up at and it seems like she's decided, nope. Now, typical, she would be walking on our tracks from earlier. So, Debbie, you want to know how many surviving cubs Inkanyeni has? Whew, I'm actually not 100% sure about this. Um, well, she's got for two me that I know for sure. So that's the one young male. Other than that, hmm. I actually don't know. We'll have to ask some of our regular viewers who know these leopards very well. I don't have that much experience with Vitum, I mean with Inkanyeni, so I'm actually not 100% sure. Now Craig, be careful, it's quite thick through here. But it would be interesting to know because she, I know she's had quite a few um, litters and I know there was a young male for at one point that she had, but I don't actually know what ended up happening to him. I think he ended up distributing away from this area now it would be very nice of her if she decided to rather go onto some semblance of an open area or a termite mound because that would make my life certainly a lot better now she was heading in this direction know where she's gone from here now um, so other than that I actually don't know of any others to be honest um, I'm not sure if she's had any others that have survived um, so if anybody can help us 
hashtag safari live and maybe you know how many litters she's had and whether or not any are surviving i don't know of any females so she was right here hmm. Phew, i don't know where she's gone i can't see her anymore i don't see her here anywhere right well we try and see if we can't find her again in this sort of block from hell let's see if we go across to james and see if he knows where he's going and whether he's found anything while we struggle our way through it